biggest issues with three buildings is uh, the loss of instructional time. When we have students walking from one building to another for, for phi ed class or, or to eat lunch, when you add up all those minutes in a week, in a month, in a year, it adds up. Uh, I teach the sixth grade phi ed students. They have to come up here on a bus every single day. Um, there's three sections of sixth grade phi ed, so they only get, uh, two out of three classes get twice a week. The other class only gets once per week um, in a five-day cycle. It's all water. When the roof leaks and the water comes, drips down, it follows the beam all the way down. The store is completely rotted out. Here, where all the roof water comes off and runs into this sidewalk with a curb on it, over time it is heaved so it has high spots and the water leaks through the joints and then into the tunnel. We have uh, tap water. The water is very brown and cloudy. It's from the galvanized pipe. This up here is quarter inch plywood. There's not much R value in a sheet of quarter inch plywood and that's the only thing between the inside of the building and the outside. It wouldn't take much for a thief or a shooter to get through that. It's all day we want to close three buildings down here because there's three just for the elementary, lower elementary kids, and consolidate them and take them up to the high school under one roof, one campus. And uh, the cost of maintenance alone on these buildings is outrageous. I would like wider lockers in our new school to help hold textbooks. I would like to see better temperature um, controls throughout this school. It's either way too hot or way too cold and it's hard to learn in this kind of environment. The locker rooms need a lot of repair. I'd like to have a wrestling room because it would be cool. I think it would be better if like some of the classrooms had like more up-to-date technology and more classroom size. Basically the gym redone entirely. I would like to see an auditorium at our school. About operation expenses that pay the bills and it's a $1.8 million non-reoccurring. So in three years, we do not have to go back. Now, we don't have to use this $1.8 million, all of it. We can choose to drop it and pick it up a couple years later. If enrollment comp increases and the government changes how they, how they um, fund education, we will never have to use this or as much of it. We have that choice.